this is H.C. Bailey, and we're back at the D Dragon's Horn Tower on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! Today, I'm going to become a seamstress. So, let's head on up to the uh, third floor here. Now, I think the... Now, this is where the dude's yarn is. I think the location of it is somewhat randomized, but it does seem to like hanging around the staircases. So, I think, you know, if we just search around here long enough, we'll eventually find it. Hmm. Well, just keep on searching it one square at a time. Yeah, we gotta enter the menu every single time. In the Game Boy Color version, I believe you can just hit the A button wherever you're standing and you'll automatically search there, so... Well, come on! Is it gonna be the last square that I search? Come on. Game? Well, it is here, isn't it? Well, where is it then? I thought it was supposed to be... Oh, there it is. Huh. I've never seen it, like, right in the middle of the tower like that. Usually it's, uh, like, right next to the stairs or in one of the immediate surrounding tiles. Well, there you are. You learn something new every day. Okay, so now we've got the dew's yarn and the water flying cloth, so... Let's take them to the guy who can weave them into a water flying cloth. I don't think the game ever tells you to go there, but we're going to anyway. But before we do that, I got some other things I want to take care of while we're around here. Uh, let's see, if we sail around down here... Yeah, there's the Shrine of Holy. I'm going to be uh, coming back here off screen, so just remember that well, as long as we're here. But uh, as long as we're in the area, I want to go back to an old town. We want to return to Hamlin. They have some doors there that I want to open now. Okay, there we are. We made it. How am I doing on HP? Uh, could use a little bit of healing. Couldn't hurt. Just want to make sure that I have everyone at max HP for this part. Now, game? Game? Now, what I want to do is, uh, well, there's a particular item that I want to look for. If you blow the echoing flute, well, what do you mean? There is a crest here. What the hell, game? Huh. I wonder why it didn't echo. Huh. That's weird. Because if you go down here... Ha-ha! Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. For some reason, it only works down here. Uh, I'll deal with these losers later. Let's, uh, talk to this guy first. Oh, is that the uh, Rubus guy? Yeah, yeah, that's the Rubus guy. Okay. Well, at least they've had enough people tell us that by now. Hey, okay, how's it going? Aye! Uh, okay. Let's, uh, free them. Why not? Oh, I've dealt with gremlins before. How hard could they possibly be? Whoa, holy crap! Oswargs! not supposed to meet up with these guys at this point in the game. Well, anyway, uh, these guys are fairly resistant to, uh, well, just about everything. Apparently not today, though. Usually they're pretty resistant to fire and the like. Uh, so I just figure, hey, just go ahead with fire, just go all out. And, uh, you know, because, I mean, if you use sleep, you know, you, they have the same resistance. So you might as well just go all out. Oh, well, that was enormously easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to breathe fire up my ass all day. But anyway, if you search in this corner, we get the water crest. All right. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, you see all the crest symbols? Yeah, it's the same symbols that they got back at the, uh, what is it? Uh, at the lottery there. So, yeah, yeah, that's very clever on those guys. Okay, okay, well, let's rest up at the end here, and I'll just, uh, wake up back at the Shrine of Holy that I just passed up a little while ago. Okay, we're back at the Shrine of Holy. Now I have the token of Erdrich. So what do I get for my efforts? The helmet of Erdrich. Yes, they actually have headgear in the game. Uh, not much, but, you know, you take what you can get. So let's see how, how good that is compared to the iron helmet. Well, how much did it help? I had 78, 98, all right, holy cow. The uh, iron helmet only had six defense, so yeah, that's why I passed up on the iron helmet. No good there, so. 
Okay, well, we're in pretty good shape, so as long as I'm here, I want to head back to Baran, because that's the closest town to uh, where I can get the water flying cloth. So I'll just uh, warp through here and meet you back at Baran, then. Okay, we're back here at Baran. Uh, there's one thing that I want to do while I was here. Ran into some gold orcs on the way, and I actually have the money to uh, buy something that I want. Okay, never mind, I won't. Oh, you are the weapon dealer. Oh, okay, there you are. Um, oh, wait a minute, I need to sell my old weapon first. So, let's do that. I want to get a new weapon for Loto there. Let's see, sell the Sword of Edric. Two gold for the legendary, most legendary sword in the world? Wow, what a ripoff. But anyway, I do want that weapon dealer to get up here. No! Get out of my way! Come on. Move. Move. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, move out of the way after he's out, after he goes up. Thanks. Okay, anyway, I want to get the Dragon Killer for Loto while I'm here. Uh, the reason I want to do that, even though the Light Sword is available, holy cow, look at that attack power. But uh, the reason I want to get that now is because it's the weakest weapon that can actually take out those Metal Slimes in one shot. So that'd be a pretty good idea. Um, I'll get the Light Sword later. Whew, I barely had enough gold for everything. Well, there we are. Yeah, one other thing I want to do. Uh, not again. Okay. Game? There we go. I want to save with this guy, because I want to get my boat back over here. And then we'll head on over to, uh... Oh, we're almost at another level. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's save here. But then I want to head over to the town where we can, uh, get the water flying claw. Main, if you're new to the game, it may not be a good idea to go here right now. But, well, I'll see what I can do. Okay, so, in order to get to where we want to go, let's head north. Ho! And around the west side of this continent first. This town's a little tricky to get to without a map, but, well, I'll be helping you out, so... Let's see, head around here, and then we want to head to the northeast continent. Let's see, where is that river? Ah, there it is. Well, that was easy. There's another river that you can go into this continent. You should not take that one. It's blocked off. There's a reason why. We'll take that one later, but for right now, the first time we go here, we have to take this river. And uh, watch out for the enemies here, because they will kill you. Oh, a hunter. Oh. Yeah, I can take him. That's fine. One one by himself, I'm okay with. What's with the hair, dude? Yeah, that would have dealt 24 damage if I wasn't defending at the time. want to keep my HP to the max while I'm here, too. Oh, that guy wasn't so hard. You run into a group of them, uh, probably a good idea to put them to sleep. Because, well, they're vulnerable to it. But yeah, you want to do a lot of defending while you're here. Ooh, a metal babble! They're like metal slimes, except they have more HP, and uh, they give somewhat more experience. But I can't kill them in time. Metal babbles are totally not worth it in this in this game. Yeah, they totally did not balance out the experience ratios at all. Not until Dragon Warrior 3, that is. Huh, well, there's a town there, but you see, we couldn't get there with the ship because there's that patch of desert there. Oh, come on, if I can make this that easily. All right, we made it. There we go. Didn't run into those Hibabangos on the way here. They can get critical hits on you. They're like baboons, except you die. And I'm not kidding. They will kill you. Oh, huh. Okay, well, let's take a look around. Okay, how's it going? The Tower of the Moon. A piece of the moon, huh? Would it be a fragment of the moon? Let's find out. Not right now, but eventually. Let's see what they sell here, too. Wow, look at that stuff. They got the Falcon Sword. It's a sword that lets you attack twice in a single round. Uh, but it has really weak attack power, so it's only really useful when your uh, strength gets so high that it offsets the decrease in attack power. But that's not until, like, the end of the game, so... Oh! Oh, so this is where the Water Gate is, huh? Okay, I'll take a look around for it. Huh. Well, we can't get there because there's that patch of desert in the way. If only there were a way I could get through there. If 
father's name was Ruffles? Potato chips? He got good potato chips. I don't eat potato chips that often, though. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Let's see who's here. Haha! -ha, it's, uh... Well, I'll just tell you. It's Don Mahoney. So, we got the uh, Magic Loom, the Dew's Yarn, give it to him, and come back tomorrow? What the hell, man? Oh, okay. What do you mean, tomorrow? Game time? Real time? What? I, I don't understand. Huh. Uh, no, I don't want to rest at the end. We'll come back there to get the water flying cloth later. But essentially, there's a little trick that you can do. Oh, there we go. So that's how we take care of the water gate. There's a little trick you can do to get a second water flying cloth, even though you're probably only supposed to get one. What you can do is now that the magic loom and Dew's yarn are no longer in my inventory, you can go back, pick them up again because they'll respawn because of that bug there, and then you can get another water flying cloth. You, or you pick up the first water flying cloth, then you'll give him the new magic loom and Dew's yarn, and he'll uh, weave another one. I almost said forge another one, but yeah. So yeah, you can get two of them. I'm not going to take advantage of that, so... Ha <laughs> ha Well, there we are. So let's head on over here. Yeah, they kind of hid this part from us. Let's use the jailer's key here. Awesome. And let's put the water gate key to use. Uh, where is it? Where's my water gate key? Ah, there we go. So let's open the key to the dam. Drink your goddamn key! It's a dam key. Key to the dam. Well, anyway. Now that we're done here, haha! -ha, now we can get over here with our ship. So let's cast return to uh, get back to uh, Baran. Now, in order to get Don Mahone, in order to to uh, get him to well, what is it? In order to get him to uh, weave the water flying cloth, you actually have to save and reload your game. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's head on over here, talk to this guy. Let's save up. I probably want to rest up at the end. No, I don't want to continue my quest. What do you mean he doesn't sleep? Is he still going while the game is turned off? I mean, when I was a kid, you know, I was eight years old. Come on, I thought the game was still going. Like, I had a limited amount of time to beat the game after I bought it or something. What the hell? So, uh, let's reset now and reload, and then I'll... Uh, head on back to Tomb. But will he have the water flying cloth ready for me? Find out tomorrow on Let's Play Dragon Warrior 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.